Hi, I'm Carolyn Pegay, and I am the owner of Pegay's Primetime here in Benita, Oklahoma. I'm also the Ag Education Instructor uh, at Benita Public Schools. And I'm excited to come to you today about another little bit of a holiday flair. I'm going to kind of walk you through an Easter meal. You know, we talk about how we can best efficiently uh, prepare meals and what we're going to prepare. It takes a lot of planning and it takes a lot of thought. And so I'm kind of coming to you today to hopefully give you some thoughts and ideas uh, that will maybe simplify the meal for you so you can enjoy your family. You know, we've been in a situation last, last year, it was really tight, it was tight timelines. We couldn't see others like we'd wanted to. Uh, there was some, you know, situations where we couldn't be together. So this year things are uh, a little more conducive to that for your small gatherings and so on and so forth. And so I want to help you to fix the Easter meal so that you don't have as much time involved, but you still have a very nice offering. We're gonna use utilize crock pots today for two of the parts of our meal. Uh, we're gonna use it with our spiral ham as well as our scalloped potatoes. Spiral ham, I think, is a great choice for your meal. Ham's always a traditional meat that we serve. We're excited here at prime time because we have some producers here in our county that are doing heritage pork. And if you know very much background about heritage pork, that brings the flavor to the table. So we're excited to be able to offer that in our restaurant. We just simply put the spiral ham in the crock pot. We, we added uh, pineapple juice, two cans, or basically two cans of uh, sliced pineapple. And then we added the juice off of each one and then I put the uh, pineapple slices in there for garnish as well as something else to go along with the ham. Added a cup of brown sugar and then put them on for three hours. To that, we've added some uh, scalloped potatoes. I'm excited about these scalloped potatoes because I grew up, my mother always made me either stir the pudding or stir the white sauce. And that's probably why I don't like doing those things. But I have simply just pre-baked my potatoes till they're almost done, uh, chunked them up, put them in the crock pot and poured heavy cream on the top of the potatoes, dotted them with butter and put some of the salt and pepper and grated cheese. Put it, you know, plugged it in, cooked it about the same time as the ham, ready to go. These two things can be fixed before you ever go to church or ever get around for your people to come. I've got some, you know, basic uh, uh, deviled eggs, which are everybody's favorite at Easter. I have figured out because it's always that complex thing about if I boil them too long, am I not boiling them long enough? So just simply use uh, an egg cooker and you have no problems of getting that done. So here we are, your Easter meal. It's got the ham, and we put a little asparagus on there, as well as our uh, scalloped potatoes. Happy Easter.